which is opposite Galilee. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to begin by saying in the life we are living storms are evident they have to come. As a Christian we really need to understand when storms come they doesn't mean you have done anything. The Bible records very well. Jesus had told his disciples rest close to the other side of the sea of the city. And the Bible recorded very well that he told them let's close. But let me tell you something when I was reading the scripture I realized when the storm is coming, storm come with a lot of noise. True or false? You can hear the, the voice, the noise of the storm. And many other time when you hear the noise, you can be interacted in your life do your storm ilo meskia. There are so many storms and storms are there to hinder you not to reach your destiny. There are different kind of storm in life. There are storm of sicknesses. There are storm of, uh, of, um, of failure. You do business. They fail. Those are storm in life. There are storm that can come through your children. Those are storm of life. Things you never expected in your life. Things you have never dreamt about. But I was And let me tell you, it is not because the storm come to destroy your life. No, storms come to prepare you for a higher height. And every time when you see a storm, there's something God is in the business preparing your life. There's something God is working through your life. And God must make sure He works through your life to make sure you attain your destiny. Hallelujah. So storms are there. They come to people who are saved. People who are not saved. People who never believe in God. All kind of people. Storm must come to everyone as long as you're in this life. So you cannot escape storms. Amen. I say you cannot escape storm in this life. It doesn't matter who you are. You can be a preacher like me. Hello. Praise the Lord. We as a family, we caught a, we had a storm. When our son was killed, that was a storm. People ask us many questions. What happened? That a storm in life. Praise the name of the Lord. What am I trying to tell you? I'm trying to tell you, storm will come. We'll never cease to come in our lives. That means we really need, don't need to concentrate so much on the storm. Hey, hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says Jesus taught his fellow disciples. Let us close. In the Bible says, he got with them in the boat. Remember, and in the midst of every storm in life, one thing I want to remind you, you must know God is together with you. You know the Bible says the disciples were together. They were together in the same boat. And listen, Jesus knew all whatever going to happen in the sea. The Bible says in the book of Psalm, uh, verse, chapter number 30, 37, the Bible says in verse 23, the step of a good man, they are ordered by God. God can order your step in the middle of storm. I say again, God can order your step in the middle of storm. Sometimes we ask ourselves, why this storm in my life? The Bible says, the step of a good man are ordered by God. God can order your step in the middle of storm. Jesus was together was, was with the disciple and Levi, I want to remind you God the Father was together with this with Jesus. What am I trying to say? I am trying to say Jesus knew the Father was with him in the boat. That means that he was not worried. He was not moved by whatever was happening in the, in the, in the boat. He knew the Father was watching over your life. Let me remind you my brother. I want to remind you, when you see the storm, you need to understand as the man of God presently the word in the book of Exodus 33. He said, if your presence is not together with us, don't get out here. Let me tell you, when the Lord order your step, his presence is ever with you. His presence will move with you in the midst of the storm. 
in the middle of challenges, in the middle when people, there are so many noises that are coming. I want to remind you, God will still order your step. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible records very well, the disciples were worried. The disciples, they, they, they thought they were, they were going to sink. They're going to die. There are times when we see the storm in life. We remove our focus on God. We begin to focus on what is happening in our lives. Let me remind you. You need not to focus on the storm. In the middle of the storm, God will make a way for you. God will make sure your storm will never take away your, your life. Mungu ataifadhi maisha yako. Katika garika, katika mawimbi. Na wapendwa mawimbi na zima yatakuja. Mawimbi storm must come. You cannot avoid the storm in this life. You cannot accept these things they are leo. These things come to people like me, like you. That's why the disciples when they saw the storm when they begin, let me tell you. What surprised me? When they saw the storm and the water was filling in the boat, something happened. They forgot that Jesus was in the boat. How do I say that? Because they begin to take initiative to draw water. You know, when you know that the Lord is with you, you just tell the Lord, things have turned away. So, Lord, Take your position in my life. You know, when they begin to take water in the boat, they begin to take less upon the ability which was not theirs. There are people even today, they begin to work their own thing with their own imagination. They don't allow God to work their life. Let me tell you, when storms come, you just need to stand still and tell the Lord it is your responsibility. Do you hear what I'm saying? The disciples began to draw water. They, fought, they, they could not remember that Jesus was in the boat. And remember, he was just sleeping just there. I think that in the boat, there was upper and lower. Jesus was down. In that boat. And he was just sleeping. And some other guys, they are now taking water. And this guy who is down, he is sleeping. Jesus was not moved by whatever human being was moved. Jesus knew of the, yeah, that he going to reach where he was going. Let me remind ourselves today. It doesn't matter the kind of storm that comes in your life. You must reach your destiny. There is a place God has ordained for you. There is a place God is taking you. There is a place God is going to take you. It doesn't matter the storm. You can hear the noises of the storm. You can hear the noises of the people. But God is saying, you must reach where he has purposed you to reach in your life as a family. It doesn't matter the noise of the storm in your life. It may surround you. It may look impossible. It may look you're going to sink. It may look like you're going to die. But I have the good news. As long as the Lord is in the boat, you're going to reach your destiny. Amen. And therefore, what am I trying to tell you? You will never evade storms. You cannot. You will never evade. They will still be there. That's why Jesus said in the book of Luke chapter number 17. People to offend you, they will never cease to come. Offense. They will still come. Can I tell me to us this morning? Sometimes you can even pray against the storm. Sometimes we pray, we will try to bind the storm, but storm is still coming. Sometimes you will fast, but the storm is still coming. Hey. Sometimes you take time to tell God, there is nothing I'm not done. I have given my sacrifice to you, but still the storm is still coming. You know what God is doing? He's preparing you for a higher height unexpected. There are things that will come in your life unexpected. Hey. Kuna mambu ya takuja katika maisha. Bila kutarajia. 
bila kujua utafanya nini lakini nataka nikuambie katikati ya dhoruba zile Jehova anakuangalia Jehova ataongoza hatua zako ndio anasema ya kwamba hatua za mwenye haki yeye ndiye anaongoza ini katika katika dhoruba hata katika mambo magumu wewe muone Mungu you know one of the thing i have come to realize in life it depend on how you you take thing in perspective on, in the eyes of god ha vile unachukulia mambo unapo yanapokuja because things will come you know one of the thing i'm i'm, I'm trying to be reminded by god is that kwamba dhoruba zikija katika maisha yako is a stepping stone to your destiny ai by the way nobody likes storms I no break storm. But let me tell you you like it or not they will still come. Ah? Huh? They will still come. Nobody can pray for storm. But they will still come. And that's why every one of us we really need not to focus on the storm. We really need to focus on God. God will sometimes will allow something in your life that he may make you, he may process you. You become a better man. You become a better woman that you'll be able to testify. You will be an encourager to other people. Haya. I pray today that your life itakuwa itakuinua itakuinua wengine. It will be a lifting to other people when they hear your testimony, when they hear what God has done over your life. They will show that if God had walked with this lady, he can walk with me. If God has delivered her, he can deliver me. If God has healed this lady, he can heal me. If God has restored the family of this person, he can restore my children. Amen. Blessed be the lamb of God. Amen. Blessed be the lamb of God. Amen. You know, you know friends, it's very important to understand that in this life, you know the Bible says in the book of Psalms 23 verse number 5. This David speaking to to he say the Lord is my Chef I shall Come on In verse 5 he say he lay a table in the presence of what I say he lay a table in the presence of your enemy So now is that what what tells you that God will cause a storm <laughs> You know you, you, you know sometimes we don't want to hear the truth Let me tell you. It is in the storm you will know the greatness of God. Ah, somebody say amen. amen. It is in the midst of storm that you will see what God can do. Yes. It is in the midst of storm you will see the hand of the almighty. It is in the midst of agony you will see the hand of deliverance. Let me tell you my friend, you see David needed Goliath. I say again David needed Goliath. Why? Ili that God that he may lift him to another level. You need a storm in your life so that God. Hey. I say so that God he may lift you to another level. That your life will be a testimony. That you will tell God in the midst of crisis I saw your hand. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Friends of God, storm will never cease to come. You have not prayed for storm. You have never prayed for storm. They, but they still come. If I tell you the truth, I have been praying for my children more than more than anything else. If somebody who has prayed for his children, it is me. I begin to pray for my children before I got married. I begin to prophesy about them. But here this year one of them was taken away by the enemy. But I've been praying. But I told God that was a storm. That is a storm in life. That's something that can 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 cause me to doubt your faithfulness. 
But I told God in the middle of this storm, I will to bless the name of the Lord. I pray today in the middle of your storm, you lift up your hand and say, Lord, I know you will make a way where you seem to be no way because I know you who began the good work in my life, you are able to accomplish it. Oh, glory to the Lamb of God. Glory to the Lamb of God. I don't know whether you can praise the Lord in the middle of storms. Because they will still come. Hey. I don't know whether you can bless him. Or you begin to complain about the storm. Because time will still come. Praise the name of the Lord. But the Bible record this way. When they walk him. The Messiah. Jesus the son of God. The Bible says he just rebuked the wind. Let me tell you. When you know he is in the boat. Everything will be calm. That's why Paul says this word. That in the book of Fish, in the book of Philippians. Chapter number 4. The God of peace. Shall keep you. In Christ Jesus. The God of peace. Do you know my friend. In the middle of storm. The God of peace will keep you. The God of peace. Will not allow the enemy to rob your peace. The God of peace will protect your mind. Through Christ Jesus. That in the middle of those storms. You will still say Lord. I know you are still working good for me. That's why Paul say. In all things. Give thanks. And he said, in all things, count it joy. When Jesus rose up, he just rebuked the storms. And there was calm. And you know, you know, the disciples and the people, they were marvelled. They said, who is this man? Do you know when you come out of the storm? People ask, who is this man? That there was a storm, he never sank. There was a wave, but he was still standing. Who is this man? I am telling God, may I be found that people will say, who is this this man in the midst of storm he can glorify your name in the midst of storm he will still worship you in the midst of storm he can glorify your name he can never see to glorify you he knows that he knows my way because I know who began the good work in my life they said who is this man even the sea can obey who is this man? Can I tell me to us, reverend? When you begin to focus in God, you'll be speaking to situation in your life. Oh God. Oh, I, oh my, I wish I had some people here. Who can say, who can understand? I am telling you, when you, under, when you trust in God, you'll be beginning to speak to situation in your life. Let me tell you, situation that are look very strange, things that can, can and that can kill people, things can can cause people even to marvel, because the Bible say when they saw how Jesus rebuked the storm, they said, "Who is this?" The Bible says He has given us power and authority. People will ask you, "Who is this man?" He just speak a word to a cancer and die. Talk to me, guys. Who is this man? Hi. Who is this man? He can recreate heart of people. Who is this man who can speak to kidney? Who is this man? They're saying, I declare kidney, come forth. Hey, who is this man? The, the storm can obey. Who is this man? Who is this man can address the situations? Who is this man can prophesy to nation? Who is this man? Hey, hey, who is this man? This man is with Jesus. When you are with Jesus, my brother, every storm in life will stand still, will be calmed by his presence. 
His presence will calm every situation in your life. And people will begin to marvel. When they think you're going to die, there's you praising the Lord. When they think you are no more, they will hear you saying, glory be the Lamb of God. Do you know what? When the Bible says in the days of Paul, there was a time they, they beat him with stone to a point of death. But the Bible says the saints gathered together. And Paul came out of the stones and was found in another city preaching the gospel. I am here to announce to you in the name of Jesus. When you focus with, with, to God, when you focus your life to God, not to the storm, you will be like him. The Bible says we have the spirit of Jesus. And the spirit of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. I am telling you today, when you focus your life to him, you will be like him. That's why I sing a song, I want to be like him. I want to be like him. I want to walk like him. When you walk like him, every situation will obey. When you speak the word of God, when you say, hey, I call the you today in the name of the Lord, and they will hear the voice of God, and they will hear the voice of the master. Listen to me, people of God. If, if Jesus was able to speak to the bread, when you are broken, keep on multiplying. Hi. Listen to me. If he was able to speak to a dead situation, if Jesus was able to address Lazarus right in the grave. Hey. When you have the spirit of Jesus. You have the spirit of prophecy. You have the spirit to create things. That's why the disciples. When they saw what he had done. They marveled. I pray today, may your life be a marvelous to people. May people marvel of your life. May people begin to marvel when they see the dreams of God. May they see what God is going to do in your life. They will marvel and say, who is this man? Even his big things come to pass. He speak things and the things come to happen. Why? It is because you have shifted your focus not to the storm, but you have looked to him who is the author and the finisher of your faith and his name is Jesus. Change your focus. Can you tell a neighbor, change your focus? Hey, tell a neighbor, change your focus. You know, for too long you have, uh, you have been struggling because of the storm. You have been saying, oh, "What must you know? You know, you know." When you see the storm, there is what we call anxiety. If you read the book of Philippians, chapter number four and verse number six, Paul says, "Don't be anxious." Can I submit to you guys? When you begin to to be anxious, you stop living. Hey, can you hear what I'm saying? When you are anxious of life, you stop living. What am I saying? You begin to decline. Slowly by slowly, because you are you are anxious, you are worried of an of, of future, you are worried of unknown, you are worried of your life. You begin to ask yourself, what shall I do if it doesn't happen? Listen to me, even if it doesn't happen, my brother, as long as he is in the boat, I am closing over. I am closing over. It doesn't matter. It there will be noisy. It will be noisy. I, I had some politician in Kenya saying it will be noisy. You heard them saying they will be, it will be noisy. But let me tell you, there is noisy all over. But let me tell you, storms will come. Noise of storm will come. But let me tell you, those who wait upon the Lord. The Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 40 and verse number 30, the Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength, they shall mount like eagle, and they shall never grow away. I pray today, may God locate you. May God find you that you cannot go weary because of the storm. But in the middle of the storm, you glorify his name. I say you glorify his name in the storm. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the storms will always come to your life. One of the things I've learned from this, context, this scripture is that uh, disciples never acknowledge his presence. He, they never acknowledge him. You know, as a father, when you have your children, 
when you walk with your children when they know the father is there they know they are secure true or false Aye. when they know the father is there they say my father is there they know they are secure I wish the church can understand that when you are with Christ your life is secure that's why Paul says in Colossians chapter number 3 in, uh, in verse number 2 that he says this word our lives are hidden in Christ in God what am I trying to say? When you know you are with him, it doesn't matter the storms of life. He will steal through. He will steal through. The disciple never acknowledged his presence. Because the Bible says they, they were worried of life. They, were, they told him, Master, don't you worry. I wish they knew he was there. Hi. I wish they knew they would have relaxed. And they would allow him to take charge. Because if the, if the boat will be sinking, he, he is still there. Right? He is still there in the boat. So they will say, the master is there. So let him take charge. That's why I'm telling you, friends of God, don't take responsibility which is not concerning you. Right? Hey? kazi ambao siyo yako. Ya kujisababisha tu ujiokoe. Watu wengine wanafanya mavitu watu wajiokoe. Simwambie Mungu nataka we uonekane. We unajitafutia jia zako, jia zako utasink. Mnanielewa pendwa? Jia zako we utasink. Na utaanza kulia. Ndio wapendwa hawa jamaa wali Petro na wale wengine a professional fisherman. Anasema tuweka roho. Don't do friend wakati una Kristo ameanza kutembeza mambo ambayo haujaelewa si wacha tu wa kuongoze eh when do you want to do things uh, the normal way you always like to do normal things normal way wacha Mungu when God begin to work in your life wacha kuongoza mambo ambayo sio ya kawaida Mungu Kristo alitaka majamaa watulie lakini hao wanaanza kuchota nini sasa wewe tulia I say tulia. Mwambie mwezi wako tulia. Tulia. Ile mazoea yako unajua hata watu wamezoea hata mhubiri. Wanazoea mhubiri. Mazoea. Tivuni yule pastor wetu. Sikia. Anaposimama hasiyo yeye. Praise the name of the Lord. I was preaching in a church in a, in a, uh, in, a, in Texas. And I was preaching that church they never have never heard about the Holy Spirit. Mna nelewa. Ni ya watu ya upe. Mi njwa tu nikuwa ka mutu nye mwekudu. Nye mwekudu ya mwusi. Whatever the case you can call. But I preach. When I was preaching, the power came over my life. I begin to speak in language, in, in tongues. They begin to speak. They have never heard it. They begin to speak in tongues. One of the men asked, this man is speaking when, when is he excited? They didn't know that I'm I'm a Holy Ghost man. You know what? One of the essays told me, you know, when you are preaching, Pastor, I saw Jesus behind you three times. And when I lifted my hand, I began to speak in tongues. Because there are there are things we do in a normal way. But God don't want us to do normal things. That's why Jesus was telling these guys they were doing the normal thing, their routine. Taking water in the boat. But the matter was still there. Hey. Ninajua una story zako vile unafanyaga mambo. Wacha na story zako sasa. Tumpe Bwana. Hai, mwambie mpe Bwana. Ukimpa Bwana atashughulika. Na utaona neema yake katika maisha yako. What I'm trying to tell you my brother is true. I have seen. I am a witness. If it was not gone on my side, I would have quit the preaching the gospel. Don't think it's easy when you are in preaching, you get the news your son has been murdered. It's not easy. Ah? Uh, I said it's not easy. It's not easy, but you know what? When I, when I removed my eyes from the storm, I focused to him. And I told God, in the midst of storm, I will still glorify your name. Today, I am healed completely. 
I'm a witness of this grace that it doesn't matter what comes in your life, the Lord will take control. The law will stand with you. The law will cause you to, mock, to, to, to make it. You can make it, my sister, as long as you remove your eye to the storms. You will make it. If I have make it, you can make it. But I want to challenge you. Don't do, don't do much concentration on the storm. You hear noise of the storms. Noise will come. You hear a lot of noise saying, Hey, do you think God is still in this business with you? Let me tell you, the Lord is still walking with you. He says, He is closer than a brother. I say, He is closer than a brother. The moment you're alone, He's just beside you. He's telling my son, You still make it. You know what, friends? He cannot allow you to die in the midst of the storm. He will not. Be steady first in the, in the midst of the storm. Stand still. That's why the Bible says that in the days of Moses, when they were closing the Red Sea, the Lord told the children of Israel, do you know what they were told? Stop crying. Tell your neighbor, stop crying. Hey. See, one stop. Hey, stop crying. Hey, you are today. Hey, why are you crying? Then God came and asked these guys, What is in your hand? Listen, one word can remove mountain. One word from the Father. Or later you have the word in your spirit. That means the word that you have in your spirit can address that storm. That seed, the Bible says that seed of the word of God that is in your spirit. You can speak to the mountain. You can tell the condition. Listen, the word of God says, I am more than a conqueror. And I know he who began the good work in my life. He is able to see me through. And therefore I declare, devil get behind me. I know he is faithful. I know he's going to see me through. And I know he is able. I know he will make a way for me. It doesn't matter what people say. One thing I know, he is faithful to his word. Let me tell you, that seed. That's why Moses was told, what is in your hand? So if you have the seed of the word of God, you can tell the storm, be calm. Hi. Be calm. I say be, be calm. Why? You have the seed of the word of God. So I pray today, don't complain when you hear the storms. You never prayed for storm. Don't pray. Don't don't get worried. Don't don't be moved. Just say, Lord, the storm has come. But I know you are right in the midst. The Bible says, as I finish, at the end of the day, they landed. They landed. Let me tell you. You as a person. As long as you are with him, you are more than a conqueror. It doesn't matter what is happening. It doesn't matter what people will say. As long as the Lord is on your side. As long as the Lord is on my side. As long as he is working with me. As long as I have the witness of God. That in the midst of he is together with me. I know. I am sure. And I am convinced beyond doubt. I will make it. I will walk out victoriously. That's why the Bible says that we are born of God. Every man born of God. Overcometh the world. I am here to announce to you in the name of the Lord. You are an overcomer. You will overcome. You will overcome the storm of life. You will overcome of the storm of discouragement. You will overcome all manner of disease. Why? Because God is in the midst. Ah, he is in the middle of the storm. If then, if you want to kill me, first he kill the master. Huh? If you want to kill me, first he kill the master. When he kill the master, then I'll be done. Remember, even the devil is a creation. He was created 
That means when you see him, you cannot withstand his power. I pray today that God may help us that in every storm acknowledge his presence. In the midst of storms, believe he is there. In the midst of storm, don't take charge. Let him take charge. I say again, in the midst of the storm, don't take charge. Let him take charge. Tell him, Lord, now it is your time. I am here. That's what Paul, Peter says, cast your burden to him and he cares for you. Close your eye in his presence. I don't know what kind of storms that you are involved in that has caused fear in your life. But today, we can agree together and focus our attention to him and he will see you through in the midst of storm. If only you can believe in him. If only you can focus your life to him. Today, is your day. Just, just speak to the Father for a few minutes and tell Lord there is a storm in life. I'm going through some storms in my life as a family. You need God. This is the time you can tell God in the name of Jesus. The storms are there. Storms of sicknesses. Storms of failure. You have filled some things but you don't know what to do. But have the good news. Let Christ take charge in the midst of the storm. I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord you are here. I send my word and heal your disease. I am the Lord, you are healer. Be here, you need a prayer. Just step forward right now. You know yourself. Something that you know that you need God in your life. Just make your way here right now. We're going to pray together with you. storm. Iko katika maisha yako na itaji na ema mungu wa akusaidie Njotu, takuomba na wea sante dada yangu We unajelewa You know that there are things you understand These things you know And actually some of you you have been Worried over the storm that is You are facing It will look like a mountain But Jesus said When you have a, a faith Like a master seed You speak to the mountain And it will go in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will just speak to it. And today we have the ability. And they will begin to say. Who is this man? Who can speak to the mountain? Who can speak to issues? And they can obey. Yes you know. It is, it's not about anything else. It's about him. He is able. To take control. Mm. In your life. Mm. I just want you to lift up your hand to the father this morning. You're not lifting to anybody and I'll ask the pastor and Pastor Samuel and um, our dear sister mama to come. I want, I want you to believe. Listen. Now, take your burden to him. Don't carry it, okay? Mm -hmm. Si mumejaribu sasa kule mumejaribu mumeshindwa sasa mpeni yeye Tukubaliane leo tumpe na mimi nataka kuambia kwamba leo kwa jina la Yesu Kristo there will be a tremendous change in the name of the Lord Leo 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 faith is now Hey Wewe nataka sasa usi na wacha nikwambie Waliomba walijaribu sasa wewe mwambie Bwana siuingie sasa Karibu Bwana karibu 
karibu Yesu karibu O karibu Yesu karibu Wana moyo wangu 